Immigrants once referred to this area as Vinegar Hill after a famous battle in Irish folklore. It was later renamed Bellevue Hill, meaning beautiful view. Despite being one of Sydney's wealthiest suburbs, a particular modern day battle still rages at its scenic heart. Scots College is a GPS school with a strong rugby pedigree. Its sporting reputation staunchly defended each winter. Our theme of the week has just got to be like keep ball. Mm. And so I just want that wrestling element all the time. Yeah. The sound of a busy school term is now replaced by the determined planning of the rugby coaching staff. This which will lead in quite nicely. It is school holidays and an important meeting of mind and muscle is taking place. Uh, this week is, I mean, we, we do it every year as a sort of mid-season camp to prepare for our remaining GPS games. Um, there's a special edge to it because we play Cranbrook at the end of these holidays, which mean um, it's a game we must win because it's a very traditional fixture. It's a very, very much a local derby. After an unexpected defeat in last year's fixture, the pressure will be applied in the week-long training camp. We're just playing into their hands by having quite a passive style of defence. Uh, that gives an edge to the training because uh, you know you need to train well and prepare well. Most of them have had two weeks off. Uh, so it's getting them back up to speed, changing a few things that didn't quite work at the end of last term uh, and getting them ready for Saturday. OK, finish the one you're doing right now. Now you guys hold it up there. OK, good job, boys. Body language, come on. And start the camp like this. Hands off your heads, hands off your hips, get your heads up. In schoolboy rugby, there are two things you cannot avoid. Physical confrontations and good old-fashioned hard work. We've got a really good coaching team this year. One of the big enhancements in our programme this year um, on last year's programme is the the coaching program across all years and not just at the first 15 or second 15 clean level. Out. Clean them out, clean them out, leg drive, good. Ball presentation, not great, clean out, you missed. Ultimately, that's the position I've got to get in. So if Maimon goes on the ball... I'm the head coach of the first 15 um, and I'm, uh, I oversee the way and take responsibility for the way the second 15 play as well. Andrew Cleverley's my um, assistant coach for the first. He's MIC of the program, so he's really busy. We've got a good mix of youthful coaches who are, you know, into learning about the modern ways the game have played and some, sometimes, you know, and we've also got some older style coaches who are quite useful. They bring us back down to earth sometimes and remind us that at the end of the day, it's a pretty simple game. The setup at Scots is as comprehensive as any professional franchise organisation. No stone is left unturned when it comes to the physical preparation, but also the mental approach. He's up on them. I'll give him an excuse to come out, you know? That's a good point. They don't kind of completely change the intensity for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Recuperation is also emphasised, from nutrition to hydration to the age-old lactic acid remedy of ice baths. The coaches will tell you that it will relieve muscle soreness and accelerate the level of recuperation, but they will forget to mention the pain involved. For Captain Stu Dunbar, this is the sound of perfection. Perfection takes practice, and this practice takes place at 6 a.m. And an early morning can excuse the occasional error. Crouch, touch, pause, go, two, three, go, two. But errors carry a heavy price when you have 500 kilograms behind you. There 
what, what I want you to do is see how my shoulder's there. On the pause, when you open up, your shoulder's got to come down flat with his. Wallaby but legend the Andrew Blades has won a World like Cup, a but the challenge of winning against Cranbrook like is channeled through his immense okay, experience and into the scrum technique of his young students. Open yourself back up again on the next one. Engage! Good. Break. Look at all those trophies in the back. <laughs> Wonder what it'd be like to win one of them. <laughs> so what do you reckon then about um, selection? Day two begins with a coaches meeting over breakfast. Selection issues served with coffee and toast. I spoke to Hosey last night for a while. And it comes down to his line out choices. Like I said to you, I just want five man line outs. But they're all going to do this. They just put three in the middle. You know, like everyone does. Well, like any other team, any other sporting team, your team's no good without some good so coaches. So we've had, we've got a good coaching staff here at Scotts. Got lots, and our head coach, Mr. Blackburn. Five and six run a piss off. This is why I want to change the Rockets to be. It brings a new look into the game of rugby, which is a really exciting brand, and hopefully it'll pay off for the rest of the season. So when he goes in, bang, he's. And what he did. As a coach, he likes to have like a nice structured game plan, and really work on like not so much the traditional ways of playing rugby. effective, you know. Injured, injured, band camp, wedding. I'll put them in red or something. Open your toolbox up here. Tell me how to use your computer now as well, eh? Yeah, just press that button there. Good lad. <laughs> I'm gonna be telling Lee now that he's doing like the seconds forwards. You're doing the first forwards. And uh, I'm doing both teams. Right. Meeting adjourned. Meeting adjourned. It's a wrap. Take two. Each wall displays evidence of Scott's enviable rugby history, a tradition not lost on players and coaches. The importance of rugby to the school is, is it's the primary winter sport. It's the, a big focal point for the school. Um, a lot of things are geared towards it. The success of its program is, you know, based on the, on the first 15 and its performance. And I think that, you know, rugby is, um, you know, vital, vital part of the college. The sense of expectation from the community uh, it gives the passion for rugby in, the, in, the, in Scots College. The primary GPS sport, whether it be summer or winter, is rugby and to, see, to be seen to be successful in that sport is very big. Hopefully what they get out of playing the game here is that you know, they enjoy it. I don't think it's all, all about 
wins and losses. Um, at the moment, we're going through a big culture change within the school. Um, part of that is the focus on, that, on the rugby program and the passion that has, has been derived from that. All rugby means to Scots is uh, just everything really, the passion that all the boys have. You know, the majority of the school um, play rugby and, and really get into their rugby. Oh, it means a lot to represent the school because it means uh, you're not only representing just the 15 boys that are out there, you're representing the whole school, from the teachers to the year seven boys, the students, everyone that's a part of the college we represent. Sometimes a different kind of grunt is required to fine tune a player's strength and conditioning profile. Damien White oversees the weight training program in the school's fitness centre. The biggest challenge for me is the, the role of, with these boys is it's been more about changing the culture um, and getting them to understand that they've got to physically prepare for the, the rugby season so that they understand now they've got to be in the gym for a good at least six to 12 months if not longer beforehand, um, getting themselves phys physically to prepared to play that following season, if not the, the season after that. The lead up to Saturday's game requires a steady tapering of intensity and execution. The afternoon session demands a more technical approach, but the high expectations remain. Some blokes busting their ass to do it right, and the some blokes are just out there doing their own thing. And play the game properly. They think you're soft. You just think you're going to swan down there and win, and they're going to smash you, just like they did last year. It's got to be up there with one of the worst feelings. Have a, have a bit of it. Sit and eat your lunch together, you blokes, and sort it out. Cranbrook's obviously a big rivalry for us. Certainly last year they probably caught us a bit by surprise. So this year, we, you know, our boys are focused and determined to, to get stuck into Cranbrook and win the Battle of the Hill. You know, it's, it's an important game for the eastern suburbs. I didn't expect the players to kind of lose um, a, a certain degree of control on the field as they did, um, and that was new. Obviously, we're a bit more prepared for that this year. Um, I'm a bit more aware of the rivalries, and therefore you can prepare for the. Um, psychological element and the, the mental element that goes into a game like that. Uh, There's a long-standing history. Last year was the first time in a number of years that Cranbrook have won. Uh, the Scots boys are very determined to, to get back on top there and, and wrestle that mantle back off the, uh, the boys from down the road. By 2 p.m. on game day, the atmosphere at Cranbrook School is one of excited anticipation. But the warm weather does nothing to ease the nerves of players and coaches alike. Spot where your man is, and you've got to get outside him. Sometimes you've got to call the players out, and that will break, make everyone stand outside in. You want to hinge in on your man only, yeah. unless there's no other option, 
and you've got to hinge in on the man inside. If someone wants a ball that much to you, I'll give them it. All right? You can enjoy yourselves today. You're all going to step up and enjoy it. Get on it, get on it, get over him, get over him, go. And now, sit. Yeah, mate, down here, down here. Go, go, get on him, go, 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 and just complete the whole, the whole sequence. And that's what your mind switched on all the time. Forget what's off the sidelines, guys. Just look after each other, innit? Right out the alleyway. Complete the sense until the pressure's too much. The only way they're going to fucking get into this game is if we get giveaway penalties and errors. them every time it's a line out. I can guarantee it. Every time it's our ball they'll blow it so we can't hear. Go Stenberg! Former line. Come Gaz! Oh come on Harry. Patience! Patience! So you'll either call tell Stewie must snap so that Hosegood doesn't get isolated. Do you know what I mean? Or you go in tight where Hosegood is. Halfway through the first half, an injury to second rower Harry Hosgood stops the Scots' momentum and adjustments have to be made in the lineup. so everybody knows what's happening. Can't have some people working on one thing or wanting to do one thing and everyone else is waiting and trying to set up another. Stick to the pattern of play. If you stick to it, it'll work. Come on, Jack Walters. We said no penalties, two penalties. You've cost us six points. Look at it up there. Stu, the backs want to set up their plays. So I need, you've got to trust it, boys. Four of you will win the breakdown. If it takes one more, then fair enough. Own what you do. Own what you do and you can win this game. It's up to you. Just play our patterns of play. It's there for the taking. You've got it, guys. You've got the strength. The defence is going really well. Defence is good. Six sets of hard work and then it's yours. All right, they can't handle us. Believe in yourself. Look around this group. Believe in this group.
ugly at times, but the win's a win. Huddle right up, and I want to hear that song. I want to hear it in Belgian Boo. Oh, yeah.